So if you're thinking about moving to and or relocating to the greater Seattle area and you want to know about the pros and the cons of the greater Seattle area as a whole before you invest in the trip, then this video is for you. Hey there, future Seattleites. In this video today, we're going to dive into the top 15 things you need to know before making the big move to Seattle. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video where I will be going over a bonus item that you should consider when moving to the area. Fasten your seatbelts, grab your umbrella, and let's get started. Hey, if this is your first time on the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in the greater Seattle area, then subscribe below, tap the notification bell, so you can be the first to learn about the current real estate market in the greater Seattle, Washington area. Hi, my name is Aaron Morrow. I'm a local realtor that has been serving both buyers and sellers in the greater Seattle, Washington area and King Pierce in Snohomish counties for over eight years now. Our team helps hundreds of people buy and sell houses over the years and we are honored to work with so many families and individuals and help change their lives through real estate. We get calls, texts, and emails every day from people just like you looking to make their move to the greater Seattle, Washington area, and we absolutely love it. So whether you're looking to make your move in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or schedule a Zoom. All of the information can be found in the description below so we can help you make a smooth move into home ownership in the greater Seattle area. Okay, let's get into that. 15 things you should consider before moving to the greater Seattle area. First thing, let's talk about the cost of living. Seattle isn't exactly cheap with housing price, sales tax, and gas prices are all higher than the national average. Right now, median home value for houses in Seattle are currently sitting at 850,000. Also keep in mind that what you get for that price point in the city of Seattle is not a brand new fancy new construction property and often can be a home that needs a little work. However, the further you go out from Seattle, either north or south, in general, you will get more bang for your buck and you'll find more home for less money. There are plenty of suburbs that are within a one hour commute of Seattle that you can get a great home for well below what you'd be paying for in Seattle. I cover this more in depth in another video where I go over different Seattle areas. The current sales tax for Seattle is also currently sitting at 10.25%, but don't let that discourage you. The city's strong economy and diverse job market offer a wide range of opportunities, making an ideal place to grow your career and offset those higher costs. Here's a tip. Try using cost of living calculators online to help budget and plan for the move. Second thing to know is about weather. When you think of Seattle weather, you probably imagine endless rain, right? While it's true that Seattle has its fair share of wet days, it's not as bad as you might think. In fact, seattletravel.com has cited several other major US cities that get more annual rainfall, including Houston, Memphis, Nashville, and pretty much every major city on the Eastern coast, such as New York, Boston, and Miami. Another thing to keep in mind is you don't see that many people in Seattle actually using umbrellas while it's raining. Seattle's weather is generally mild and temperature perfect for enjoying the beautiful outdoors. Now let's talk about a little bit more about our job market here on point number three. If you're into tech, you're in luck. Seattle is home to Amazon, Microsoft, and a bunch of other tech giants. Not a techie? No problem. The city has a diverse job market with opportunities in healthcare, biotech, and more. Keep an eye on local job boards and network with professionals in your field to land that dream job, including using sites like LinkedIn. Now we must talk about point number four, traffic. Brace yourself for the notorious Seattle traffic. Seattle's traffic is like a never ending suspense movie. It keeps you on edge of your seat, wondering what twists and turns is coming next, but don't worry. With public transportation options like light rail and buses, you can escape the plot and navigate the city with ease. Plus for those environmentally conscious commuters, Seattle is a super bike friendly. Here's another tip. Try using apps like Google Maps or One Bus Away to help plan your commute and find the best transit options. Now on to point number five, culture and entertainment. Get ready for a cultural roller coaster. Seattle is a diverse, culturally rich city with a thriving arts and music scene. You'll never run out of things to do from visiting iconic landmarks like the Space Needle to attending live performances at many theaters and concert venues. 
from catching a show at the legendary Paramount Theater to enjoying fresh seafood at Pike Place Market, there's never a dull moment in this city. Don't forget to check out local event calendars to stay in the loop and make the most of your time in the city. Now moving on to point number six, the neighborhoods. Seattle and its surrounding areas, including King, Pierce, and Snohomish counties, offer a vast array of neighborhoods to choose from. Each neighborhood has its own unique charm and character, so do your homework and find the perfect fit for your lifestyle across the beautiful region. A useful tip, visit neighborhoods during different times of day to get a feel for their vibe and check out local community forums for inside perspectives. Feel free to check out my 30-ish minute video where I cover the different feels of the neighborhoods in different parts of the greater Seattle area in greater detail. Link to the video will be in the description below. We need to talk about number seven, schools and education. Seattle is home to a variety of public and private schools, as well as top ranked universities like University of Washington, UW for short. To find the best fit for your family, research school rankings and reviews online and consider scheduling school visits to get a first-hand look at the facilities and programs. Here's a shameless plug for you. I have school information per community in the greater Seattle area accessible right on my website. Just click on the interactive map or go to the Explore the Greater Seattle Area tab and you'll find many communities to learn about including school information. Link to my website can also be found below in the description. All right, eighth on my list is safety. Seattle's crime rate is relatively low compared to other major cities, but that doesn't mean you should walk around with your head in the clouds. Be aware of your surroundings and take usual precautions. You know, lock your doors, hold on to your latte, that sort of thing. A helpful tip, familiarize yourself with local crime data using websites like Neighborhood Scout or the SPD Crime Dashboard to stay informed and make safety conscious decisions about where to live. Now for number nine, healthcare. Without getting into a debate about the United States healthcare system, Seattleites enjoy some of the best healthcare in the country with top-notch hospitals and healthcare providers. Seattle boasts some of the best medical facilities in the country with highly ranked hospitals like University of Washington Medical Center and Seattle Children's Hospital. So rest easy knowing that if you slip on the wet Seattle sidewalk, you'll be in good hands. To make the most of the city's top-notch healthcare, research nearby hospitals and clinics and be sure to find a primary care physician soon after you move. Pro tip, check with your insurance provider to ensure that your preferred healthcare facility is in network. Okay, number 10 on our list is legal considerations. Washington state has different laws and regulations than other states, so it's important to familiarize yourself with the local legal landscape before making the move. From understanding tenant rights to knowing the rules of the road, a little research can go a long way. And here's another helpful tip. Visit the Washington State Legislature website for an overview of state laws and regulations. Let's now talk about topic number 11, which is the homeless population in the greater Seattle area. Unfortunately, Seattle has the third highest number of homeless individuals in the United States, and it's a tragic situation with no clear solution. Like any major city, Seattle has a visible homeless population and the city is actively working to address the issue. However, it's important to be aware of the situation before making a move to Seattle as it can be a concern for residents in terms of both crime and sanitation. All right, moving on to topic number 12, which is coffee. Are you a coffee aficionado? Well, welcome to coffee paradise. Seattle is the birthplace of Starbucks, but don't worry. There are plenty of local roasters and cafes to satisfy your caffeine cravings. Embrace your inner coffee connoisseur and explore the city's many coffee shops. You may even discover your new favorite brew. Pro tip, check out Seattle's annual coffee crawl to get a taste of the city's finest beans and blends. Now let's talk about topic number 13, which is the Seattle freeze. Contrary to what it might sound like, the Seattle freeze is not a delicious ice cream flavor. The Seattle freeze refers to the perception that locals can be a bit reserved and harder to make friends with. While it might take a little extra effort, getting involved in community events, clubs and meetups can help you break the ice and make lasting connections. Remember, the more you put yourself out there, the warmer reception will be. Get involved in your community and you'll be defrosting the freeze in no time. Second to last on the list is coming in at number 14, which is the great outdoors. If you're an outdoor enthusiast, you'll love Seattle. With stunning mountains, lakes, and parks, 
just a stone throw away, it's like Mother Nature built a playground just for you. To fully embrace the city's natural wonders, make sure you have the right gear and join local outdoor groups to share experiences and make new friends. Last but not least, let's talk about number 15 on my list, taxes. No state income tax? Yes, please. But hold your horses. As stated previously when talking about the high cost of living for the area, Washington State has a higher sales and property tax than the national average. To make the most of your finances, consult with a local tax professional or financial planner who can help you navigate the tax landscape and make sure you're making smart money moves. Okay, now for the bonus thing to consider. Why is this not number 16, by the way, you might be asking? I thought 15 looks better. Bonus item. <laughs> Let's talk about the healthy lifestyle that Seattle offers. The city is a haven for health conscious folks with numerous farmers markets, natural grocery stores, and a strong focus on local sourced organic food options. Seattle is also home to many fitness centers, yoga studios, and outdoor recreational opportunities that make it easy to stay active and healthy. And here's a pro tip for you. Visit the city's parks, green spaces, and nearby hiking trails to get your daily dose of fresh air and exercise. And don't forget to visit a Whole Foods or Trader Joe's while you're at it. And there you have it. 15 things to know before moving and or relocating to the greater Seattle area, plus a bonus one. Sure, the area has its ups and downs, but it's a lively, opportunity-rich, and naturally stunning place to call home. We hope this video helps you decide whether Seattle is the right fit for you. Please feel free to reach out to me with any questions you might have, as well as add more things to know for others in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe and keep coming back for more videos related to buying, selling, and living in the greater Seattle area. And remember, whether you're looking to make your move in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or schedule a Zoom meeting. All of the information is in the description below so we can help you make a smooth move into home ownership in the greater Seattle area. And until next time, I hope to be showing you around town.